Hi guys, America here. Welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to get your machine learning certification. All right, so some quick housekeeping work before I get into this. I created a second channel. It's called On One Talks. I'm going to move all my non-tech, non-career, non-making money online videos to that channel because uh, I don't want to muddy the waters here. I like to talk about other things. You know, I like to talk about politics. I like to talk about movies, but I want to separate the channels. So if you're somebody that comes to this channel looking for that content, you're going to start seeing it on this channel called On One Talks and a link to that channel will be down below. Please jump over to that one to subscribe. I appreciate it. Now, back to this video. You guys already know that I'm a techie. I have a number of different certifications. I have AWS certifications. This is the this is the swag I got from going to the reInvent conference. I even have Microsoft Azure certifications, and I have like uh, three or four Google Cloud certifications. I have the um, security certification for Google Cloud, the digital leader, the data engineer, and the machine learning. Engineer and the machine learning certification for me of all the ones I've taken from Google was definitely one of the more difficult certifications. <laughs> um, why don't you guys put in the comments what you think was the most difficult one? So, anyway, I thought it was difficult. I thought I got to the end of it and I was like, hmm, 50 50 if I pass this thing, but um, I did pass it. So, I wanted to share with you guys what I did and how I passed the machine learning certification exam. So, so those of you who don't know, machine learning is really just a subset of the artificial intelligence space. Artificial intelligence means, uh, you know, machines that can learn, that are intelligent. And really machine learning is just taking lots of data, tons and tons of data, and making sense of it in order to make predictions, right? And that's what machine learning is. And so... Really, as we move into the future and as everything around the world is gathering our data, whether it's our cell phones, whether it's our Amazon Alexa Echo, whether it's, you know, our cars, our GPS, everything we do is gathering data. So there's tons and tons of data. So now we're moving into the phase of what do you do with all this data? How can you make sense of all this data? How can you make money with all this data? And that's where, and that's why there's a lot of interest in machine learning. There's a lot of people going into machine learning. And um, so I'm very interested in machine learning. I think it's the future. Um, I'm also a big fan of Google Cloud. I use it a lot. Uh, and so I decided to take this machine learning certification to sort of uh, start myself down that journey of gathering more information about machine learning. So what did I use to take this exam? Oddly enough, I didn't see a lot of pre-made courses uh, for machine learning on Google Cloud. I, I've seen them for AWS. I've seen them for Azure. I didn't see a lot on Google Cloud. So I couldn't go to my old reliable website of A Cloud Guru to get machine learning. At least at the, as of the time when I took the exam, it wasn't on there. So what I had to do uh, was use uh, Google's material. And so for those of you who don't know, Google has uh, a page called Google Cloud Skills Boost, right? Cloud Skills Boost. Link will be in the description below. Now, Cloud Skills Boost has over 700 plus uh, on-demand videos and labs for you to use. And it's free. You could uh, use, I mean, there's some things that are not free on there you'd have to pay for. But essentially, it's made by Google. Um, and it really just goes over um, all their services. Now, I specifically, when it comes to taking exams, I don't like to use Google's material. I don't think they're the best at teaching their stuff. <laughs> you can usually find better stuff on Udemy. You can usually find better stuff with A Cloud Guru, right? Even with lynda.com, which is now, I guess, linkedin.com, LinkedIn, .com, LinkedIn uh, Learning. But uh, since I didn't have a lot of material out there, I decided to go with Google Skills Boost. So, what you'll do is you will go to the uh, cloudskillsboost.google page. You will register. Uh, 
once you finish registering you just log in and then click on the path button and then under the path button you go down to machine learning path now there's a bunch of other paths you could do like there's the digital learning path there's the uh, cloud architect path networking engineer path data analyst I did the machine learning one for some of the other certifications that I took I didn't even use this uh, skills boost I just used either Udemy or a cloud guru but for machine learning I couldn't find anything good out there so this is where I came so you click on machine learning path and then you just take uh, you just watch these videos now there's a uh, 15 videos over here for you to watch I no, well not there's 15 different courses for you to go over I didn't have to go over all 15 I'll just tell you the ones I went over that I thought were useful the Google Cloud big data machine learning fundamentals I thought that was useful how does how does uh, how Google does machine learning was useful launching into machine learning tensorflow and feature engineering these two are extremely useful uh, I did the two quests I did the build and deploy machine learning solutions of vertex AI uh, perform foundational data ML tasks and I think I did the ML pipelines on Google Cloud and that's it as I mentioned to you before it's free as you can see here there is a subscription but you do get a 30-day trial and 30 days is really all you'll need to study and prepare for your exam but you know if you want to keep using the content you know there's monthly fee there is an annual fee like I said I did it without having to pay for anything it was I could just use the free content but uh, it's a great resource uh, like I said before I don't always when I'm taking uh, Google related certifications do I use this because I, I find them a little professorial and and uh, they get into more detail that's needed for an exam but you definitely need it in order to learn the material which is important like so for me like even though I've actually taken the certification I'm actually still going through material now to get stronger in machine learning uh, but when it comes down to just passing the exam there are some areas that I just really don't need to focus on so that's what I did good luck in your journey and thanks for watching